मैं अब उड़ीसा सरकार के कृषि और किसान सशक्तिकरण मत्स्य पालन और पशु संसाधन विकास मंत्री माननीय श्री रणेंद्र प्रताप स्वाई जी को संबोधन के लिए आमंत्रित करता हूँ माननीय मंत्री Good morning, everybody. Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmu, Honorable Governor of Odisha, Professor Ganeshi Lalji, Honorable Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and President of ICAR, Sri Narendra Singh Tomarji, Secretary Department of Agriculture, Research and Education and Director General ICAR, Dr. Parthalji, President Association of Rice Research Workers, Dr. Agarwal, and Director ICR National Rice Research Institute, Dr. Nayak, scientists present, and ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I must thank the first citizen of India for gracing this auspicious occasion and being an inspiration to millions of Indians, especially the women of the country, and the women of Odisha. Madam, your journey, struggle and grace will always be admired by all those who are in public life. We are proud that you come from the land of Lord Jagannath. Now coming to this event, we are privileged to host the second Indian Rice Congress here in the historic city of Katak to discuss the problems and prospects of Pani cultivation by our Annadatas. We have come a long way from being a net importer of rice when we got independence to a net surplus of rice production which has ensured food security for all our citizens. Our state under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Navin Patnaik Ji has progressed exceedingly well and not only our state has become self-sufficient in paddy production but also it is exporting rice to six other states after fulfilling our own requirements. The first credit for this goes to the farmers of the country and the state who have toiled day in and day out to feed us. Then the governments, both at the center and the states at different times, who have brought out policies to address the bottlenecks and taken steps to remove them. And the most important link to make this possible is our scientific community, those who are present here, who have burned the midnight oil to continuously innovate and give the farmers the right variety of produce, not only good quality of rice, but also great quantity of rice. Just consider these simple statistics. When India got independence, we had about 120 million hectares of arable land, which increased marginally to 160 million hectares in 2000 and has remained more or so constant since then. But we are now able to feed more than four times of our population. That is the story of research in farm sector. This was possible because of the tremendous increase in yield rate. As I understand, it has almost saturated in the northern and western part of the country. But there is a huge scope in Eastern Indian states, like our state, including Odisha. Even before I took over as the Agriculture Minister, I have been feeling, telling, in different forums that the research output from lab to farm should reach out to the farmers at a faster space. I would like to see not only faster adoption of such researches, but also adoption of the same on a mass scale to ensure more income for the farmers. I would urge the scientific community present here to look into this matter. While we have progressed very well as far as research and development is concerned, there are a few issues as well as to be addressed. One, how to develop more short duration paddy variety, which will not only result in less water consumption, but also because of early harvest, will leave enough moisture for the rubby crops to like pulses 
particularly in non-irrigated areas of the country as well as our state. One of the aspects that can be thought of, how can we cut down the cost of production as farmers feel paddy cultivation is becoming increasingly expensive. Another challenge is to promote climate resilient farm practices and how to introduce more and more water efficient varieties as opposed to the water guzzling varieties preferred more by the farmers at present. The state government under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Navin Patai has been increasing the allocation to the ag agriculture and allied sectors including provision of agri -lo loan at 0% up to 1 lakh rupees to the farmers, advancing maximum agri loans through cooperatives, banks, cooperative banks, provision of the seeds at affordable prices, farm equipment at subsidized rates, training and extension, etc. This has also resulted in increased production for our farming community. There has been a conscious decision to include more and more women in the farm activities through incentives. The Millet's Revolution, as everyone knows today, is a glaring example of women power in agriculture, which is driven primarily by the women in this, of our state. I wish all the best for this second Indian Rice Congress and hope the learnings will be extremely beneficial for the farming community. A copy of the proceedings of this conference with all the papers being presented here may kindly be marked to my office so that we can take things forward for creating a better ecosystem for our farmers by adopting the doable things. In the end, I again thank Honorable President of India, Honorable Governor of Odisha, Honorable Union Minister for gracing this occasion. This is a great way to say thank you to our to our Anandatas, Bande Utkal Janani Jai Hind.